Good morning, my name is Ryan Littlestone from forexflow.live and here we are this morning coming to you with lots of breaks happening from last week. Um, over the last few videos, I've done the last two, three weeks or so, we've been talking about ranges and how prices have been staying within these tight ranges, but we're always on look for the breaks and what we got last week uh, was plenty of breaks. Um, now one of the pairs we've been looking at is uh, the euro against the dollar and the, we had the big 15 handle that uh, I was looking at a lot and looking to trade the shorts and whatever. And what happened was we hit this 15 level, we, we umdenied about it and we had that European summit, as you know, uh, that came out largely in favour of, of passing the budgets and the EU rescue funds. And it just, uh, we were just sitting below and it didn't look like we was going to go. And then as the week progressed, wallet, we got a big break through uh, the big 115 level. Now, what I was explaining before in, in the prior video of that is looking at how you trade the breaks. Um, because if you do see these tight ranges and you do get a break, you want to try and get on that break because it can be explosive. Uh, and as we see now, we're trading the 117 today. Um, so how I traded that is I was, I was looking at uh, shorts into the level just on a scout basis, but I had a reverse stop in place so that if it broke the 115 area uh, and I was short, then the stop would reverse me into a long. I did that and I rode it all the way up uh, to 116, that sort of high area. But then I, I got hit on my trailer as, as we saw a dip below. But the, the level was broken then and really it's about how far this was going to go. And as we can see, it's, it's run up to the 117 now. So what I did there was um, trade another short into 116, another small scout to see if the big figure would hold. Um, we did hear about barriers into there and then also reverse that into a long if it broke. Um, and what happened was we tested it once and I missed that one. Uh, I traded it again into sort of 115.95, but we started nudging it and started breaking it. I didn't like the price action, so I, I folded my short and as soon as it went through, I changed it into a long at 116.06. Um, rode that all the way up and um, I'm still in that position at the moment, chopping and slicing on the way, bringing the trading stop up behind. So that's what we're looking at for, for the euro dollar. And right now it's a question of, of trying to push the trade as far as it can go. Um, support is going to be a little bit sketchy at the moment. Um, the main support I see is not down until sort of 116, 20, 25, and then 116, the big figure. Um, so that's what I'm looking at now to see where the main support develops and then I can play my stop behind it. Now just moving on quickly to another pair that uh, I spoke about a couple of weeks ago, um, and that's uh, the dollar yen. Now this is a trade, again, looking at the ranges. We have this tight bottom down in sort of 106.60 area. And as we can see on the chart, we've got another break. Um, I had a, a sell stop in at uh, 106.58, just to catch a move through that level. And here we are, I'm still short. Um, and I chopped some off at uh, 105.65 this morning. And I'm, I'm happy to run this short still, bring it down lower, see if there's any further breaks. But as we look on the chart, we've got a big fat level down at 105 and 104.50. These are two key points that I'm going to be looking at now. A for support, but if we break it, that could be another way to, to jump in another break trade, catch the short there, see if we get a, a move below those two levels. Again, the resistance is, is pretty sketchy above. I'm looking at uh, sort of the 106, the 105, 60, 65 at the moment. Um, then it's not back up until sort of 106 area, 10620, that sort of area. So we've been talking for several weeks about uh, tight ranges. Now we're talking about the breaks and seeing how far they can go, seeing if we can stay on that train, picking our levels where the support and distance is going to help the trend or break the trend. That's what I'm looking at this week. Uh, and as usual, I wish you luck with your trading.